Welcome to our work on guaranteed global synchronization in networks with stochastic interactions. Synchronization is studied in various fields, such as biology, physics and engineering. Whereas on the one hand side you might have continuous coupling, you might have on the other hand side discontinuous pulse coupling. Especially in the field of wireless communications, where packets are transmitted and received, you have quite naturally a discontinuous system. So you are interested in pulse coupling as the strategy to achieve synchronization. Within such a system, you might have arbitrary network conditions and individual delays. 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 And additionally, you will have a probability to receive packets. This means that there is a chance that a signal that is transmitted is not going to be received. This has also to be taken into account if you want to achieve and guarantee synchronization. And that's exactly what we do. And I'm going to show you now how we're going to achieve this goal. Let us take our oscillator running on a circle. Here's the oscillator. It runs counterclockwise on the circle until it passes the threshold. Whenever it passes the threshold, it will emit a signal with some probability P cent. Any oscillator on the circle which receives a signal, let's say here's oscillator K, here's oscillator J. So whenever one of those receives a signal emitted by oscillator I, it will adjust. It will adjust according to our update function. This means basically that an oscillator that is in the lower half will jump forward and an oscillator that is in the upper half will jump backwards. That's the main idea of the update function. These two oscillators form the diameter of the set di and we will now note that this di will monotonically decrease. For a combination of how this applies to a bigger set of oscillators will now be shown in a video. On the left we see a realization with 10 oscillators on a random network. A fire of an oscillator is indicated by a red light. On the top right we show the oscillator's phases at the fire times. Note that the y-axis is centered around zero. All oscillators between the blue lines are combined in a set S. On the bottom right we see the diameter of S and the size of S. As soon as all oscillators are in S, then dS equals di and is monotonically decreasing and synchronization is achieved. After all these technical details, we are now able to see the bigger picture. We guaranteed synchronization for arbitrary network conditions, for arbitrary individual delays and stochastic interactions. This now gives us a guarantee and allows us to better include those things for applications, such as pacemaker networks, robot swarmings, and network protocols for wireless communications. Thank you.